Wait, how did we do that? This is the Schlotty Effect tutorial. So we're gonna start this off in Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro is just really good at sequencing. This is Schlotty's original TikTok, so this is what we're actually recreating. And then this is my TikTok where I actually recreated this effect. And you can see they are very similar. I think that we use the same method. Go check out the original TikToks for both of these and definitely go like show Schlotty some love since I am just stealing her ideas. But this is gonna be a two part tutorial. We're gonna go over like the main things in this one as far as like moving around and being 2D. But there is this part here at the end where it's just like this endless carousel and that's gonna be in a different video. So obviously the very first thing that you have to do is film everything, put your camera on a tripod, don't touch it at all, just let it keep rolling so that nothing changes or you might have clips that you're just posing so there's two ways to really go about doing this so you can come here and you could just mask yourself out <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect but it has to be better than this i don't really like doing that because at the end of the day it's still a 4k clip and that's just a lot on my computer so what we're gonna do instead is find the frame that we want and go over here and take a screenshot of that frame so with any clip that you're talking you want to go to the very first frame of that and take a screenshot and then go to the very last frame and take a screenshot okay so what are we doing with these screenshots we're gonna go into photoshop and just add all of the screenshots that you took this might take a while but whatever go up to select and hit subject and now photoshop is gonna detect your subject and all you have to do is come down here and create a clipping mask it might mess up a little bit so you can come in here and clean it up if you want to but it's not really that necessary because there's gonna be so much motion blur that it's not really gonna matter. After you do this, save it as a PNG somewhere. You're gonna have just this really big folder of all of these. As you can see, I have a lot of them and this was only like a 20 second TikTok. So now that we have all of our cutouts, the next thing that you wanna do is find a frame where you're just not in it. And you can do one of two things. You can come down here and add a frame hold and that's just gonna freeze that frame. Or you can come up here and export that frame just like we did before. So take that background frame and just put it at the bottom right here. And then you're gonna take all of your cutouts and you're just gonna sequence them together. And you'll notice that we are kind of getting some sort of an effect already where we're there. It looks like how it did before we cut them out, right? So this is where the fun stuff happens. So let's come here and replace this with an After Effects composition. Now you can see why we sequenced everything inside of Premiere Pro because After Effects is just not a sequencing kind of program. So the very first thing that we want to do is take all of our clips and make those into 3D layers. This adds that Z axis and this is what is really going to allow us to get that 2D effect. So let's just start off small. Let's say that we just want to slide in into the frame. So go to where you want to stop sliding, press P on your keyboard. This is going to bring up your position and just make a keyframe. This basically just tells After Effects that you want to stop here. And then go back to the very beginning of the clip and we are going to mess with the X position because I just want to slide in and would just slide me all the way over. And all right, now we just slide in. All right, so let's say we wanna slide up or down instead. Let's slide down. So in this case, I'm gonna make a transition in between two different frames. So let's go where we want our transition to start, make another keyframe. And right here at the end, After Effects is kind of weird. You can see if I go to the end of this clip, it's not showing that clip anymore. So let's just go a little bit before that and let's slide ourselves down. I don't know if I said down before, but we're going down now. And then we can take that keyframe and push it to the end. All right, so now this is our new clip. Let's go where we want the transition to stop. Press P on our keyboard yet again, make another keyframe. We slid the previous clip down. So we're gonna start this one from the top and that's about it. So now you can see that our original clip slides down and then our new clip is coming down from the top. Pretty simple, so now we got a slide in and we got this nice little transition. You can mix and match all of these transitions, just continue that same movement throughout. So now this is what you guys all wanna know. How do we go 2D? Okay, so instead of pressing P, we're gonna go ahead and press R. And this is where having that 3D layer really comes into effect. So we're gonna keyframe our Y rotation. Go to where you want that effect to start, add that keyframe. Again, After Effects is kind of weird, so you don't wanna go all the way to the end, but let's make this 90 degrees and we just disappear. If we drag that out to the end, we can really see what's going on. We are 
disappearing. All right, so onto the new clip, press R again, go to where we want the transition to stop and make that keyframe. Since we went positive 90 last time, let's start off with negative 90. And now you can see, boom. And there we go. Okay, so those are the basic effects. And like I said, you can mix and match anything that you want. But what does it look like in a frame that we're actually talking? So we have our screenshot right here of that first frame. And then we start to talk over here. So what we're going to do is make a keyframe of that position. And let's put that at the very end since you want those to line up. And then we can start messing with things. So let's say that we wanted to just slide around a little bit, right? So it's sliding around a little bit. So you can see as long as you have that keyframe of your ending position to where everything lines up, you're gonna be just fine. Okay, so we're just about done. We have this nice little sequence, but it doesn't quite look the way that we want it to look. And that's because it doesn't have any motion blur. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on motion blur right here. And just because it's on doesn't mean anything. We have to go to every single clip that we want the motion blur on and then actually turn it on for every single clip. So that's about it. If we save this, then we can find it in Premiere Pro and everything updates. You may notice like right here, you may notice like right here when it's transitioning on that 2D, there is like you, you can see this cutout. You can see the bottom of the layer, right? Well, what you wanna do is come up to the effect controls and just increase your scale a little bit. And that really just hides that. So now you can no longer see the end of the layer. And that's about it. That's how you do the schlotty effect. Let me know what effects, transitions, anything you want to learn in the comments below. And you know what? Let me know who is here from TikTok. It'd be very interesting to see. And that's about it. All right. All right.